In this presentation, we will see the second problem of the DRDO which appeared in 2008. Without wasting any time, we will move to the question. The standard sum or product of the function f is equal to a or b complement c is expressed as. So, if you want to solve it by yourself, you can pause the video and try it. Till then, I will solve it. So, let's see how we can do this. There are so many ways you can do it, but as there is a don't care also involved, I have to make a K map. You can also do it by the truth table, but I will make a K map. So, as there are three variables involved A, B, C, there is a 8 cell K map required. So, this is your 8 cell K map. The variables are A, B, C, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay. Now, let's move to a problem which is F is equal to A or B complement C. So, this is our result obtained from the first grouping. It's actually the reverse of something that we have been doing from the last 7 to 8 lectures. So, this is obtained from our first group and this B complement C is obtained from our second group. So, our task is to find this first group. Actually, it is minimized but there is no problem. We will do it. So, the first one is your A. So, in this cells, wherever A is there, we will fill it with 1. So, in this 4 cells, the A is 0, but in this 4 cells, the A is 1. So, we will fill it by 1. It is done. And uh, you can see if I combine it, the result is A because BC is changing. And uh, for the second one, we have to see where B is 0 and C is 1. So, in this cell, B is 0, C is 0. In this cell, B is 0, C is 1. So, Okay, so if I combine it like this way, in this way, so you will find it that A is changing from 0 to 1, making it 1 and B is 0, C is 1, so it will be B complement C. So we have reached to our initial map from which this expression has been derived, which is this one. And by making these two groups, we can find this expression. So, let's see what we are having in our options. In our options, it is given in the form of your min terms and the don't cares. So, let's make the min terms and the don't care from this map. Summation M. This is your, this is your 0, 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7. We will write the number of cells, the corresponding number of cells in which there is 1. So, in 0 there is no 1. In 1 there is 1. So, I will write it as 1, 2, 3, there is 0, 4, there is 1. So, we will write 4, then 5, 6 and 7. So, this is our answer. Let's see. 1, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, option B is the correct option for this problem which appeared in DRDO 2008. Now, let's move to question number 3 which was taken from the paper ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization in the year 2009. The question is the switching expression corresponding to F a, B, C, D, these are the variables, is equal to summation M, there should be M, I don't know why it's not written, 1, 4, 5, 6, sorry, 1, 4, 5, 9, 11, and 12 is, so there is no problem, you will easily solve it, you have to just solve the K map, and as you can see, there are 4 variables, you have to make a 16 cell K map, okay, 
so this is your 16 cell k map The variables are A, B, C, D, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. Now let's fill this map 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 12 13 14 15 so we have filled this came up now it's time to make the groups so let's make the group this is our first group this is our second group and this is our third group we don't have chance to make the group of four ones or eight ones so we have to make the group of two ones and uh, you can also make the group like this one this one and this one but it would not be this much simple however the number of literals would be the same so the function f is equal to let's give it name one two three these are our prime implicants we don't know whether it is essential or non-essential it's not our business to do it right now it's our prime implicant one two three so let's see for the one here a b is not changing and a is one b is zero so a b bar c is changing from zero to one but d is one so d is here similarly for second a is changing from zero to one but b is one so b and c bar d bar and for this implicant 3 we are having a bar because a is 0 b is 0 to 1 and c bar d so let's see whether this answer is there in the option or not so we are having a b bar d a b bar there is a b bar d okay b c bar d bar b c bar d bar a bar c bar d a bar c bar d so option a is correct for this question number three from the isro 2009 in the next presentation we will solve some more problems from the drd on isro this is all for this presentation